biggest problem when it comes to waterproof makeup is the fact that you have to take it off at the end of the night. Well, you have to take it off eventually. And when you do take it off, it is a pain in the freaking butt. I personally feel like waterproof makeup is for people that maybe sweat a lot and they don't want their makeup to run or for people that are going to the beach and they're gonna swim and they wanna keep their makeup on or for mermaids. All jokes aside though, you guys, I was guilty of purchasing waterproof makeup back in my early 20s. You know, actually when I was 19, I started purchasing waterproof makeup and that was because the friends I was hanging out with told me that that was the best thing to wear when you go to the club. I mean, back then I didn't really have a voice. So I felt that since these people I was hanging out with were older than me, that they knew more than me. That wasn't the case <laughs> because I did purchase what they told me to and I went through so many makeup remover wipes. I was literally stripping my skin and tugging at my skin so much back in my early 20s that I am pretty surprised that my skin is not completely damaged for what I put it through when it came to taking off the waterproof makeup. So I think if you just have a regular life, you don't go swimming all the time, you don't sweat as much, I think regular makeup can do you just fine. I don't think you necessarily need to purchase waterproof makeup. When it comes to my makeup now, obviously I'm a minimalist, so my makeup items are like probably around four to five products. I don't have makeup on today because I don't need to wear makeup every day. And plus, I'm letting my skin relax. So I don't want to cover up my acne and then create more acne. I have a two-in-one face wash and makeup remover, and it's amazing. I wish I would have known about this back in the day because I used to purchase these kind of wipes. Do you guys remember these? And they used to make me break out. They used to make my skin so, so greasy. And surprisingly, with YouTube nowadays, the skincare community is amazing. And they have told us the truth about these makeup removable wipes and how they can create more harm than good. So even though I am not a makeup guru or beauty guru, I do know for a fact that you do not need these bad boys to take off your makeup. You can use something like this or you can use something like this. It all depends on your skin type, obviously. If you have sensitive, acne-prone skin, this will be good for you, that's what I use. And I will have a coupon code linked down below. Not sponsored, but it is an amazing product. I've been using it forever. If you're more on the oily skin side, then this product will be good for you. And again, I have a coupon code down below. I love Pacifica products because they're vegan friendly and they have something for everybody. So that's why I like them. But you don't have to go with these two products. You can go with something else, something more high end if you prefer that route. But basically what I'm trying to tell you guys is you do not necessarily need makeup wipes to take off your makeup. There is so many different ways to take off your makeup nowadays. And there's so many helpful skincare videos by skincare professionals on YouTube that can teach you a thing or two when it comes to swapping out your makeup wipes for something better for your skin and something that's going to take off your makeup like that instead of you going through five to 10 wipes like I used to. Sometimes I used to buy these in bulk. And by the time I reached for the next package that I used to stock up on, they'd be dried out, so I couldn't use them. So when it comes to makeup removable wipes, you do not need them. Look for something that's gonna be a little bit more effective with taking your makeup off right away, and also something that your skin can benefit from in the long run. Now, like I said back then, you guys, I was a huge fan of makeup. My biggest problem with this was my mom and my sisters for on Christmas time, they always would purchase me the big eyeshadow palettes and I loved them because one side was filled with neutral colors and I always gravitated towards the neutral colors. But the other side was filled with yellows, greens, reds, and it was like too colorful for me. So at the end of the day, I would use all the neutrals and throw away the rest. Huge waste of money. And that can go for anybody. Like if you do not prefer neutrals and you prefer the colorful side, I'm sure the neutral side's gonna go to waste just as much as I wasted the colorful side. In order for you to save money and also create less waste for the environment, it's best to purchase eyeshadows that you really like and that you are going to wear. For me personally, I only own two little eyeshadows. They're from ColourPop. They're the um, like mini ones you guys can see over here. And yeah, you can mix and match your favorite colors. So you don't necessarily have to get 
a huge eyeshadow palette and have a ton of colors you don't use anymore and you're capable to just DIY the whole thing nowadays which is great it's best to purchase eyeshadow colors that you're going to use instead of purchasing a giant palette where you're only going to use like 10 eyeshadows out of 50 and you know it's again a huge waste of money when it comes to lipstick my biggest concern is that you're buying a bunch of lipsticks and you're probably not going to go through all of them by the time they expire and that's what happened to me i had around 50 to 60 lipsticks in those little walmart um tupperware container thingies like the little drawers i used to just color coordinate them at the bottom i would put red in the middle i would put like purple or like the colorful ones that i would think i was gonna wear around halloween time and that was silly to do that because Halloween only comes once a year. So it's like, all right, I purchased lipstick that I'm only going to wear once a year. By the time I finish that whole tube, it's going to be expired. So needless to say, it will take you years to go through two lipsticks alone. Never mind having a draw filled with lipstick. So I think the cutoff point is maybe four or five. If you are that kind of person that wears lipstick all the time then five is probably your lucky number but if you're like me and you wear it occasionally i only own one <laughs> compared to these 60 lipsticks that i had to throw away and i felt like i was throwing away my hard earned money created so much waste so much unnecessary waste and kind of made me broke at the end of the day so keep that in mind the next time you're watching a tiktok lip combination i've seen those videos the lipstick combinations look amazing, but you do not need to own more than five lipsticks. Trust me, you will thank me later on in life when it comes to having more money in your bank account and not wasting it on items you do not really need. Anyways, you guys, I hoped you enjoyed. Let me know down below what makeup item you completely stopped using and that you will never use again. For me, it has to be foundation. The minute I stopped using foundation, my skin started to clear up obviously i do get the you know occasional hormonal breakouts but my skin was bad back then and what i kept doing was covering in it covering it so the more i covered it the more acne came so the minute i stopped using foundation and just basically threw out all the ones i had my skin started to breathe and look clear again. And of course, there's other products that I stopped buying, but the number one has to be foundation because I learned a valuable lesson with my skin and being more comfortable with who I am, even on my breakout days. On that note, you guys, I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you in the next video.